I think it's really easy to be inspired and excited about what we do. It's a privilege to be able to spend your career beating your head against some really challenging and fascinating biological problems. If you're going to do that, why not pick something that won't just affect the health of hundreds of people, it'll actually affect millions of people. And I don't know of any other job that you can go to work every day and honestly believe that everything you do could lead to the most tremendous social change of our time. One of the most exciting things is that even though we know so little, the little bits that we do know have already translated to major advances that help human health. Seattle Biomed is bringing together two fields that haven't really been together before, taking the systems biology approach, and then we're coupling that with global health. Malaria, TB, HIV all present really unique challenges. So here we are taking the most powerful approach to understanding biology, and we're coupling it to the most challenging biological problems that affect a huge portion of the world's population. All of the diseases that we work on kill somewhere in the teens of millions of people. One has to go to work every day with the knowledge that your work is trying to stop that. You would be shocked at how many people you run into whose lives have been profoundly changed by infectious disease. I've sat on a salmon boat in the Pacific Ocean with a complete stranger who told me all about his brother who died of AIDS back in the 80s and thanked me profusely for my effort and for my work. And so it's a grave sense of responsibility, but also extraordinarily exciting because every experiment you may try or every line of research you may design could be the break. It could be the one thing that tips the fight. You can have the greatest research ideas in the world and, and things that you know in your mind could change the world. But to get the money and to get the infrastructure going, you have to show that you can do it and you have to show that it can work. And there are very few funding mechanisms that supply that type of money to get started. Really critical breakthroughs that have led to transforming the way that we think about preventing and curing disease have started with a small experiment that maybe costs five thousand dollars that can lead to those larger grants and long-term funding. Unrestricted funding is really important because that's where we can really be as creative as possible and really think outside of the box. When you're doing systems biology research you want to spend most of your time outside of the box. You want to get those new ideas, new clues or hints that you couldn't get otherwise that are going to make these diseases a memory.